We're asked to find a single term in a binomial expansion. We know from the binomial theorem, we can find the expansion of the quantity x plus y raised to the power of n using this formula, but we don't want to have to find the entire expansion to find a single term in the binomial expansion. There's a formula we can use to find the rth term in the expansion of the quantity x plus y raised to the power of n, where the rth term is equal to n choose r minus one times x raised to the power of n minus the quantity r minus one times y raised to the power of r minus one. Now this formula is not easy to remember, so I think if we look at this formula here, we can find some patterns that will make it much easier to find a single term in a binomial expansion. Looking at this first term, notice how we have zero factors of y. We also have n choose zero, where n is the exponent on the binomial. And also notice how the sum of the exponents on x and y is n. Now looking at the second term, notice how there's one factor of y. We have n choose one. And again, the sum of the exponents is n. Looking at the third term, notice how we have two factors of y. We have n choose two, and again, the exponents sum to n. So notice how whatever term we're looking for, the exponent on y is one less, and this value also gives us a combination, and again, the sum of the exponents is always n, the original exponent on the binomial. So let's see if we can apply this pattern to find the fifth term in the expansion of the quantity x plus three raised to the power of seven, and we'll also compare the results to the formula. So because we have the quantity two x plus three raised to the power of seven, n is seven, because we're looking for the fifth term, r is equal to five. And now let's see if we can find the fifth term. We know we're going to have a combination. We'll have a certain number of factors of two x, the first term in the binomial, and we'll also have a certain number of factors of three, the second term in the binomial. If we're looking for the fifth term, the exponent on the three is going to be one less, which is four. So because this exponent is four and n is seven, the combination is seven choose four. And we know the sum of the exponents on two x and three must be seven because four plus three is seven. The exponent on two x is three. Now let's compare this to the formula. The formula tells us the combination is n choose r minus one. Well, if r is five, r minus one of course is four. So n choose r minus one is seven choose four. The exponent on y, which is the second term in the binomial is r minus one, which is four, which we have. And the exponent on x, which represents the first term in the binomial is n minus the quantity r minus one, which would be seven minus four, which is three. So this is correct. Let's go ahead and simplify this and find the fifth term. So seven choose four would have a numerator of seven factorial. The denominator would be r, which is four factorial times n minus r factorial, which would be seven minus four factorial or three factorial. Because we have a four factorial in the denominator, let's write seven factorial as seven times six times five times four factorial. Let's leave four factorial as it is and expand three factorial, which is three times two times one. Simplifying here, four factorial divided by four factorial is one. Two times three is six. Six divided by six simplifies to one. So we have 35, two x raised to the power of three would be eight x to the third, and three to the fourth is equal to 81. 35 times eight times 81 is equal to 22,680, and we still have a factor of x to the third. So the fifth term of the expansion is 22,680 x to the third, where the coefficient is 22,680, and the variable factor is x to the third. Looking at our second example, we're asked to find the fourth term in the expansion of the quantity three x minus five raised to the power of nine. So because the exponent here is nine, n is nine, because we're looking for the fourth term, r is four. 
Now we need to be careful here. The first term in the binomial is 3x, but because of the subtraction, the second term would be negative 5. So to find the fourth term, again, we know we'll have a combination. We'll have a certain number of factors of the first term, 3x, and a certain number of factors of the second term, which is negative 5. Because we're looking for the fourth term, or because r is 4, the exponent on negative 5 is 1 less, which would be 3. Because this exponent is 3, our combination is going to be 9 choose 3. The sum of the exponents on 3x and negative 5 must be 9, because 3 plus 6 is 9. The exponent on 3x must be 6. Applying the formula, the combination is n choose r minus 1. Well, if r is 4, r minus 1 is 3. So n choose r minus 1 is 9 choose 3. The exponent on y, which in our case is negative 5, is r minus 1, which is 3. The exponent on x, which in this case is 3x, is n minus the quantity r minus 1, which is 9 minus 3, which is 6. So this is correct. Let's go ahead and simplify. 9 choose 3 is equal to 9 factorial divided by, in the denominator we'd have 3 factorial times 6 factorial, and we still have 3x raised to the 6th times negative 5 to the 3rd. Let's simplify the factorials. Let's write 9 factorial as 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial all over 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, and we'll leave 6 factorial. Simplifying the fraction, 6 factorial divided by 6 factorial is 1. 9 and 3 share a common factor of 3. 8 and 2 share a common factor of 2. So 1, 3, and 3. 3, 3 is in 9. 1, 2, and 2. 4, 2 is in 8. So the fraction simplifies to just 3 times 4 times 7, which equals 84. So we have 84 times 3x raised to the power of 6 is equal to 729x to the 6th. And negative 5 raised to the power of 3, or negative 5 cubed, is equal to negative 125. So finally, 84 times 729 times negative 125 is equal to negative 7,654,500, and we still have a factor of x to the sixth. So the fourth term in the expansion of the quantity 3x minus 5 raised to the power of 9 is negative 7,654,500 x to the sixth. I hope you found this helpful.